hello friends so we are back with another tutorial on triggers in this video we are going to create a after trigger so our requirement is that create a field on parent object which shows the highest price based on its child's okay and the child object should have a price field okay both object have lookup relationship trigger should work on insert as well as update okay so it means we have two object one is parent and one is child these two have lookup relationships okay so in the child object there is a field called uh, price okay so suppose uh, the price field uh, there, there will be many childs of a particular parent so uh, the child who have the highest price I mean whose price is maximum his price should be displayed on the parent object where we can see that we can see that in the highest price value okay so how can we achieve that we can do it by roll up summary as well as we can do it by trigger but uh, since the relationship between both object is lookup so we cannot achieve this uh, this goal through roll up summary so we will create a trigger to achieve this requirement so first of all i would like to show you that uh, i have create fields the required fields on the objects already uh, where is the fields okay on the parent object there is a field called highest price and the data, data type is number okay and uh, similarly I have created a field on uh, child object as well here is the field sorry I created the open the parent object again okay here is the price field okay so let's start with the trigger so I am creating a new trigger the trigger uh, the trigger name will be show highest price on parent okay uh, the trigger will work whenever a new child is created or updated and the uh, and based on its uh, price value okay so our trigger will be created on child okay so we are updating the value of another object through this object uh, so we will use after insert and after update it will be a after trigger okay so first of all I will create a list of uh, no not by list I will create a set of all parent IDs set IDs equals to new set ID okay okay so this ID will carry the this set will carry the IDs of all related parent objects parent records to store all related parent records ID okay so create a for loop create a object of child object obj obj child trigger dot new through trigger dot new list it will get the IDs of related parents so copy the set set IDs dot add and here we will store the all IDs of all related parents so the API uh, the, A the API name of the lookup relationship is parent underscore underscore C so now it will hold the ID this side will hold the ID of all related parent records 
okay now uh, we will create a map that will store the ID of uh, the ID of uh, the related parent and an object okay since we are going to update the parent records correct so definitely we will be needing uh, a map let's refresh it with developer console there there is always an issue okay yeah now I will create a map map ID parent underscore underscore C map parent ID underscore parent object new map ID parent underscore underscore C okay now again we will use the for loop and now we will iterate the now here we will create the an object of aggregate result there is an object on Salesforce aggregate result object okay then aggregate result object will carry the value of aggregated result we will use the aggregate function in the SQL query so the results of that query will, can be stored uh, can be stored inside the object of aggregate result okay so here I'm writing the query select um, parent underscore underscore see I don't require ID comma I have to find the maximum price value correct so, uh, max uh, here we will put the API name of that field so API name is price underscore underscore C now we will give an alias name we will give max price name okay from uh, max price from child underscore underscore C okay where um, parent underscore underscore C I D N set IDs okay uh, whenever we are using the aggregate uh, methods we always need to group the fields okay so we, we will use group by group by which field we are using parent C group by parent C okay now uh, there is some error in 13 unexpected token this no it's gone okay so here we will create an object of parent underscore underscore C obj parent equals to new parent underscore underscore since see since we are going to uh, update the existing parent records so we will create an object entry through uh, object parent we will put dot ID should be what uh, we will put the ID of the related record so obj dot parent underscore underscore C now coming down object parent dot here uh, highest price here we will put the highest price which is calculated by max so we will write uh, obj dot get what is the alias name max price okay so in the inverted comma we will put the max price okay uh, okay illegal assignment from object to decimal so what we will do we will use 
double <laughs> now it will be stored okay and uh, variable does not exist parent underscore underscore c so what we will do use type casting here again okay why it is giving an error variable does not exist obj dot I am holding that okay 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 we cannot get it through that not get Okay, sorry, we have to use inverted comma here. Save. Okay, so now we have to put these values into that map. Okay, so just copy the map name from here. Dot put here, we will put the <coughs> object parent dot id comma object parent okay and after that we will update this map if map dot size is greater than zero then the map should be updated this map should be updated we always we ha always uh, use this if to avoid null pointer exceptions update we cannot update the map but its values it w acts like a list okay save okay here we will also follow another best practice if trigger dot is insert or insert or if trigger is update and trigger dot is after okay now I am saving that okay save now I will create a parent new parent parent name will be test okay save now I will create its child I will create two child test one price will be 50 save now it should show 50 in the parent okay in the highest price yeah it is showing now I am clicking on new child now I will put hundred child two and price will be hundred now it should show hundred on the parent yes so now we can say that our trigger is working fine so we have achieved this requirement so if you're having any other doubt or issue then please use the comment section and comment your doubt I will try to fix it. Thank you.